Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. Hello and uh, good afternoon greetings from uh, Lancaster, Texas. We are loaded and headed for Duncanville, Texas. The boss wants the satellite on the trailer looked at. It hasn't been working for a while, so um, so he wants that looked at, and uh, I don't even know if they'll take it or not. But anyway, let's go seal up and let's get out of here. Hold up for a second, please. Okay, with the tandem slid all the way to the back, we. We only have 43, so that means we have a very light load. So we're just going to slide the tandems, I don't know, about five holes. That's good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good to me. Back. All right, here we go. We are headed to Duncanville, Texas, 9.4 miles away. See the satellite system on this trailer, R74, has not been working for a while. The boss had to change the module for it. And 
so now I just got to go to a carrier dealer and have them put their computer on and uh, make it work. Now I'm headed over there without an appointment, so the chances of this happening, I don't know, I don't think so. Why are you parked in it? can see it but I see downtown uh, Dallas over there oh look at that traffic Oosh. I don't want to get mixed up in that traffic maybe I could take the side roads Thought I was having a bad day.
going to try avoiding merging onto the Interstate 20. Staying on the side roads. Yeah, I think it can be done. I think it can be done. The good news is uh, they're letting us in and they said it's, they're going to be able to just at least plug the computer in. That's about it.
make it work? I think so. All right, later. Hey everybody, John and good here. Hello, hello, and good evening greetings from uh, we're between Greenville, Texas and Sulphur Springs, Texas. Beautiful sunset over here. Sunrise, yeah, sunset. Temperature is uh, 75 degrees. Minus 15 degrees in Dead Horse, Alaska. Haha. <laughs> Can you imagine? Minus 15. Minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, that is cold. Alright, uh, boy, it, it took it took carrier uh, dealer over there repair place to fix up the satellite system on this trailer, I tell ya. The boss said, yeah, just go in there, it's just a 10 minute fix. All they gotta do is hook up their computer and punch a bunch of keys and numbers and it'd be good to go. Yeah, I think I was there for about three hours. Minimal. But it's all fixed. Uh, now the boss is able to monitor the uh, reefer unit. He is also able to turn on, turn off the unit. He is also able to change the settings, do diagnostics. Uh, he can also download the temperature graph. You know, for the duration of uh, the load. Let's just say Let's just say the shipper or the receiver is claiming that your that they are rejecting the load because your temperature was hot. Well, then you can download the graph. It looks like a you know one of those volcano graph thing. It will show you the maintain temperature average you know every 10 minutes or so that way um, he has a leg to stand on to dispute the you know the claim so The satellite tracking is good. He also knows where exactly the trailer is within so many feet. It's very accurate. And it's one thing uh, if if the trailer was stolen somehow, um, he can go ahead and uh, track that. Call the police. Say hey. There's a dot, there's a running dot over there in Oklahoma. That's my trailer, go get it. Kind of a thing. Anyway. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you guys will have a beautiful, godly weekend, of course. So I am on my way to Manchester, Pennsylvania, which is 1,343 miles. It's going to be an easy weekend because I don't need to deliver the load until Monday. We'll do what we can, of course. Right now, though, my main goal is to reach the pilot truck stop in 
Sulphur Springs, Texas. Not that far away. Uh, gotta get me some go-go uh, -Go juice, DEF, and hopefully some cash advance. Hundred dollar. Get me a hundred dollar. Look at that beautiful sunset. Wow. Pretty nice. Oh, what else is going on? Let's see how far the pilot truck stop is. Yeah, about 17 miles. Yeah, 17 miles to the pilot truck stop in Sulphur Springs, Texas. By the way, how about a shout out to Eric Fernholm? Also to, uh, well, Grateful thanks to many, all of you, I suppose. Unfortunately, I just can't remember all everybody's name, so. I was at the randomly pick it out of my brain. Or whatever left of it. Haha. <laughs> I don't know, I'm I'm kind of tempted that if I can find me a good spot at the pilot. Maybe I'll spend the night there, I don't know. I just might, I don't know. Not that much in a hurry. Wow, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset, wow. Pretty cool. If I could find me a pretty good spot, I might just park and just fuel tomorrow then, I don't know. I'm not really feeling ambitious today. I got that feeling of, yeah, oh, whatever, so, so, so. Don't really have the drive to not do anything or to do anything. It's just like, whatever. Relax, enjoy the day. Gentlemen, once again, good evening, greetings from Sulphur Springs, Texas. Uh, we're 0.3 miles to the exit to the pilot truck stop. Temperature is 72 degrees. Let's go get us some go go juice.
I seriously doubt we're going to be able to find a place to park over here today. On a Friday night, this late? Yeah, whatever. Well, who knows? Whatever. As I said, whatever, whatever. If it happens, it happens. Hey everybody, all right, time to get some fuel. Let's see, our code is 896548. Come on. Don't fail me now. Woohoo! It's kind of scary, isn't it? That's one thing I gotta say about Volvo engines. They don't eat that much oil. Those Cummins engine, man, I, I've had to pour gallons and gallons of oil every month. We're good, we're good.
ودع دع 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 What else? Not much else to check. I mean, what else are you checking a truck? The coolant level is right there on the money. Let's get out of here. A little tight in it. How would you like to be the one paying that bill? Let's make it even 390. Man, I could have... I thought I just had her washed last week, you know? Can't keep a truck clean anymore. Let's get nosy. I 
think I'm the only one that's fueling. Ain't that something? Uh, five gallons so far. Even the crickets. What does Grace do with all the DEF? Seven gallons? Really? You're Grace. Your grace is thirsty. There you go. Woo. How about a DEF bath? No, thank you. I don't think that would be fun. Get hosed down by a uh, DEF fluid. Ugh. Or I should say DE fluid, right? Not DEF fluid. Engine check light. Sure, why not? My uh, we got my side box. All right, right back. <laughs> 